speaking about FDI, we know that China has been expanding its footprint broadly into ASEAN, including Vietnam. Can you give us a sense of what is driving that and how do you think this meeting will impact it? I mean, it could only be a good thing, right? Well, I mean, uh, as you rightfully mentioned that, you know, China really has been expanding very quickly um, uh, its uh, FDI footprint in ASEAN, especially in Vietnam. Uh, and actually 2023 year to date, if we look at um, the FDI by uh, investors, uh, Greater China region uh, accounted for 50 percent, so half of the new FDI uh, inflows um, into Vietnam. And it's really, uh, I think, you know, a, a reflection of how attractive Vietnam, um, uh, especially um, in, in, in the past uh, a few years, as a rising uh, manufacturing hub here. So a lot of the Chinese firms also have moved in uh, in uh, their factories, you know, trying to expand their uh, factory capacity um, in Vietnam. And, uh, actually trade and investment, these are the two most important topics uh, on the agenda. And broadly speaking, do you think that this is just, the, you know, this talk about economies de-risking, is it really that and therefore Vietnam is benefiting at the expense of, of China? Well, I mean, when we look at FDI uh, relocation, um, I think, you know, ASEAN overall really remains quite a beneficiary, especially since the U.S.-China trade tensions. But I think it also uh, depends on what kind of products we're talking about. So if we look at ASEAN, broadly speaking, you know, FDI, uh, the total six ASEAN countries that we look at here uh, 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 accounted for uh, as almost 17 percent of the world's uh, FDI inflows. But China's FDI share uh, also has increased compared to pre-pandemic levels. So I think there's also, uh, you know, there's some nuances when we discuss about this FDI relocations. Uh, it's more about FDI or uh, investment retooling within Asia, some parts uh, from Northeast Asia to Southeast Asia. Right. You know, could you give us numbers of how much market share has Vietnam indeed taken away from China uh, in terms of the order flow coming out of China to Vietnam from the U.S. especially? Or the developed Well, I mean, world, the actually. U.S. is definitely... Yeah, so the U.S. is definitely Vietnam's largest exporting uh, destination, um, and Vietnam has gained a lot of market shares, especially in the past five to six years in the U.S. market, but for particular products. So we're talking about textile here. We're talking about footwear here. Um, but uh, if we look at the China-Vietnam relationship, it is as equally important because China is actually Vietnam's largest trading partner, and actually 30 percent of Vietnam's um, imports come from China. A large part of it is raw materials materials, intermediate goods. Um, and, and, and also, as we mentioned, you know, from an FDI perspective, the Chinese investment also has been flowing to Vietnam. So both relationships are quite important for Vietnam. So one as a, an import destination, the other as the final demand, the exporting destination here.